Hi, I'm Chef George Vudatakis, author of Vegetarian Traditions and the blog TheVegetarianGuy.com. My friend T-Bird and I explore the world of food. Join us. Birmingham Farmer's Market vendor Lee Chaput took me on a tour of the Slaybaugh family Amish farm in Brown City, Michigan. Lee works with Edna Slaybaugh, growing fruits and vegetables to take to farmer's markets. I marveled at what it takes to work off the grid. This is food beyond the grid, healthier, connected, and beautiful. So Elmer owns 150 acres. He's back, those are his cows back over there. Mm -hmm. He goes all the way down to the other road behind us. So we usually start the season out up here with our lettuces and um, strawberries and raspberries. Our uh, asparagus down at the very end. Um, and we have no irrigation here at all. So when we need water, we carry it out. This farm has been uh, certified organic for at least 10 years and I believe the family has been here for another five years beyond that. We moved down from Gladwin, Michigan when their now oldest boy was about six years old and they lived in the shed when they first got here while they built the house and they now have eight children, one married, one about to get married and most of the kids are in school. They have two older daughters that are at home and one young son that's still at home. Um, the, the Amish still go to school in a one-room schoolhouse right down the road. They walk there every morning, walk home every evening. And they only go to school until they're about 14 or 15 years old. And their school year is shorter than ours is because they need to come home and work in the field. And so they start in the beginning of September and they end in middle May, I think. Um, I was fortunate enough to meet the family through Elmer doing work at my home. And they were growing organic produce with no way to get it to the rest of the people in this. So I've been, I've been farming with them for three years. It's changed my entire world. Um, I come out here and all of the worries about everything else go away because what I do here is, you know, supply food to people that really appreciate it and really want to have it. And the Amish are wonderful, loving people. I get to be taken care of here. You know, heaven forbid I'm sick when I show up because they're feeding me soup and giving me echinacea and taking care of me. Um, there's a calm in this farm that I just personally have never experienced anywhere else. I love coming here. I'm relaxed when I get here and happy. Okay. This is, I've awesome never seen grapes. people that are happier consistently than the Amish. Every single time I see them, even if it's a bad day, and we all have bad days, they're still happy and grateful to be here. And it's, it's uh, what's the word I want? Um, contagious. It's hard to be here and not be happy and not really appreciate, you know, what, what God has given us here. I have a 10-year-old daughter. She gets to come out here and, and not have a television set. She can entertain herself. She loves to go out into the field and pick spinach and eat it. And most people don't have that opportunity. And for that, I am truly blessed. And so one of those cans will feed the, the family of nine with the added milk. She spends quite a bit of her time in the summer canning. And needless to say, when they are ready for corn, they just... 
it's all here. Everything that you could ever want. Mm. That's my grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> farmer across the road, uh, Amish farmer is the, the man that makes the buggies for the community. Mm -hmm. And I just recently discovered that that's um, sort of an independence for the boys. Once they're old enough to start dating, they then save their money to, make, to get their first buggy. And they decorate the inside of the buggy with their girlfriend's favorite color. And it's like you or I, you know, washing our cars to go out on a date they make their buggies beautiful for when they pick up their girlfriend after church and ride home together. And the, the oldest boy here at the farm refers to his buggy as the Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> and Cadillac started off as a buggy maker. There you go. wonderful thing. I'm glad that you could come up and share it with me today. Give you a little sense of what I get to enjoy on a weekly basis. So thank you for coming. Remember, connect the dots with your food. Know where your food comes from and support your local farmers. Until next time.